Bring the witch to her. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Is a princess. So I am just gonna like skip through these things and get into the cabin because they're actually all the same. And he's also gonna say when we get to the cabin that she is a liar, uh, etc. So I'm just gonna skip through these. Uh, silently continue to cabin. You make One more thing. A warning. A she warning. Will she will lie. We're not gonna okay. go through. Ignore him. And then proceed into the cabin. I don't know if you can actually make it like uh, uh, chapter one to chapter two. I don't know if you can make it to chapter three, four, five, six. The interior because of the cabin it, it, is almost entirely. It ground dogs there all the, the way air back. Is the blade is your implement. I'm gonna take the blade and You're save me. her. Take the blade. You take the blade from the tape. Into the basement. I'm gonna go like the and the save her with it. Creaks open. Revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the Let's room below. This is an oppressive place. All of these the things heavy from now on, I'm just gonna skip this because this is like what happens filtering from the her all voice the time. carries up the stairs. Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> she sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. Hi. Continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs hey, babe. and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's actually so beautifully drawn. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? What? No way. Why would you think that? Because I have a blade? Okay, yeah. You caught me. I'm here to slay you. <laughs> no, no, no. I haven't decided yet. I'm... Steal your nerves and step forward. You step forward. Your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? Who said I'm gonna kill I'm you? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End, End this. this. I'm not dropping the blade. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, can we just talk? Are you sure? She's not armed. What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Um, let's talk. You're so close. Don't give up. You've come this far. No, this is a good idea. Maybe we can de-escalate things. Oh, threatened, are we? You poor thing. Drop the knife, and of course we can talk. But I don't want to slay her. I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. Okay, well that was obvious. Fine then, I guess we're in <laughs> at an impasse. Squint at the princess while we're holding onto the blade. You stare at the princess, squinting. She squints back. The two of you are gonna do this forever, aren't you? Are you sure you don't want to talk uh, to, 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 to drop the blade? The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just... talk. Against your better judgement, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. A relationship? How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? What's your name? How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here? Okay, we've, <laughs> we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. 
Stay the princess. I'm getting you out of here. I'm going to keep you locked away down here at least for a bit. We can get to know each other uh, better while I decide what to do. I'm gonna get you out of here. Let's see. Oh, you have to be kidding me! Pushing off the narrator. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They. And if there isn't a key, do you have any other? Um, okay. So. No, you do have that big, sharp knife. You could always cut me out of here. She speaks with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be okay. nonchalant We've about that. You We've attempted to make your way out of the, the door. Shuts. Someone else here. No one is there. Uh, try the door. Hey, let me out of here. Reach into the bottom of the stairs. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if easier for whom? Easier for everyone. For everyone. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? She looks so nonchalant. The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. We said we're gonna save her. Are we gonna save her? Let's save her. Against your better judgment. You she doesn't have a smile now. the princess's arm. Just above the massive, unyielding chain. Cut that arm! Cut that arm! You cut into her flesh. Ugh. The blade is sharp, and that you is make quick work of it. Before you're awesome. able to crack through bone, <laughs> she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you. Her fierce gaze meeting your eye. I just helped you! How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Approach the locked door. Let's, I'm, you know what? I'm guessing I'm gonna go with this option. It just sounds no, right. We won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No. I just can't let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. You know, the last time I said save the princess, warn her. It's Slayer. You bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Fine. <laughs> okay. There's no going back now. Though the blade left a deep gash in her shoulder, she barely so much as flinches, turning around to stare at you incredulously. Are you serious? <laughs> I don't know what came over you, but if we're doing this, I guess I'll have to kill you. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? I can beat you to death with one, but I don't have to tell you that. Please I'll don't. go ahead and show you. Uh, give up. <sighs> As the blade falls <laughs> from your trembling hands, the princess rears back, readying a bone-shattering haymaker. This is a weird round, like... Slayer saver, slayer slayer... Now I'm giving up, like... You fall to your knees, barely able to process the ringing in your ears before she hits you again. Every blow is as punishing as the first. You feel bones shatter with every impact, unknown ruptures blossoming with blood somewhere inside of you. If we're lucky, the wound you manage to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, it will kill her before she gets out. Oh, too weak to even try fighting back. How disappointing. She places a confident heel on your chest and pushes you down to the ground. Her knee falls to your throat, your windpipe crushed beneath a weight you didn't think her slight form could possibly possess. It can't just end like this. I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. And you die. That was the weirdest round of like my own thought process, honestly, like... 
I don't know what I was thinking. Actually, I was like, so I just want to do the opposite every single time. The tower. You're on a path in the woods. Okay. You're here. Terrible deja vu. Proceed to the cabin. She's going to kill me again. Again? If he doesn't, you know I can Wait. hear you. What does that matter? The voice of the broken. Okay. There's nothing we can do to stop her. She's just going to kill us again. She is not going to kill you unless you let her. But slaying the princess and saving the world is going to be much more difficult than it has to be if you spend the whole time. Proceed to the cabin. A warning. Yeah. She will laugh. Yeah. We might as well just pledge ourselves to her and stop pretending we're capable of doing anything in this situation. She probably doesn't even need to try to overpower us. Can we tone down the pessimism just a smidge? <laughs> I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. That's every pessimistic person ever. I'm just being realistic. You're being annoying. Just ignore their bickering and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, yourself included. I agree. If she's wrongfully imprisoned, then we should rescue her. But if he's telling the truth, we shouldn't just hand her the world on a silver platter. Rescue her? Given the stakes of the situation, there isn't really a difference between rescuing her and pledging yourself to her. Either would be terrible. So please try to ignore both of those knuckleheads and focus on saving the world. Let's not make this harder than it has to be. Proceed to the cabin. If that's what you want, I guess I don't have a say here. He, he sounds depressed, not broken. The interior of the cabin is larger and more grandiose than its humble exterior would suggest. The only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The thing I unlocked, right? The uh, 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 achievement I got was something that said, like, bring me the witch's head. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Why do we feel so small? We don't feel small. We are small. I'm gonna leave the blade. I don't know. In a way, I want to rescue her in a very twisted way. Maybe she'll be more receptive. Blade. Everyone on. No blade. It doesn't matter. He is actually the voice of the depressing. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase. It steps almost as deep as you are tall. The smell of incense drifts up from below. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. Huh. This is actually kind of nice. It's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her booming voice rolls up the stairs. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. Oh my god! What the fuck? I wish it- what? You weren't kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. Oh fuck, can I go back and get the knife? You shouldn't have come down <laughs> here unarmed. Yeah. To get down there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. Should we be worried about your sudden change in attitude? Just a few minutes ago, you were going on about how pointless everything was. Now you want to go down there. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. Though if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. She literally sounded like some sort of a uh, 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 dragon. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. The princess oh, towers over you, shit, almost glowing son. in the weak starlight, her figure framed by a stained glass window, her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. I'm fucked! The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. I see your hands are empty. 
You've already given up, haven't you? You aren't even going to try and kill me. How sweet. And more than a little disappointing. She's disappointed in us? Neil. Fuck you. But the ah! don't leave okay, I just say no. Instead, your legs buckle and your knees hit the floor. I said no, didn't I? That's my good little bird. No. Why don't we talk? Did I press the wrong button? The last time we met, you tried to kill me. And yet here you are again. This time groveling at my feet. What a wretched sight. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? Speak. The last time we met? I suppose that lends credence to our conversation in the woods. Yeah, whatever. No, no, I won't tell you. You're supposed to end the world. Um... You weak-willed buffoon. <laughs> Is that so? The princess closes her eyes in contemplation. Something about that thought wraps itself around my heart. It feels like a fundamental truth to my being that I'd somehow forgotten. The collapse of the old is a necessary prelude to the birth of the new. And the world as it is now is overdue for... alterations. It's time for me to seize my destiny. And you, little bird, will help me seize it. She's inevitable. There's nothing else for us to do but help her. Maybe she'll be nice to us. What would you have me do? What do you have planned? Just because you're supposed to end the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. You can be whatever you want to be. I have questions for you before I decide anything. What happened to you after I died? I'm yours to command. Know the limits of your privilege, little bird. There is an empty place at my side for you to fill, if you'll have it. But it is not a place for an equal. It is a place for something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps. Or a pet. What would you have me do? What do you have planned? Just because you're supposed to... Um... So I can... I'm only going to be your slave now. And all you have to do is break these chains and set me free. If you're so powerful, can't you just break the chains yourself? Don't be rude. Of course <laughs> she can. It's not rude to question someone who's apparently trying to end the world. That's exactly why it's rude. We should know our place. I can, easily. But that isn't what I want to do. The story of a terrible and bountiful god unbounded of her own will is no story at all. It's not worthy of everything I am, or everything I'm bound to become. It isn't even worthy of what I was. And what were you? The destruction in Genesis that's to follow in my wake is deserving of a song that can echo for eternity. The song of you. Being so struck by my glory, so overwhelmed by what I am, that you feel you must deliver me into the world. And from your act of this utter devotion and submission springs a new dawn, a better dawn. Submit now, submit later. It makes no difference, because in the end, no matter how vainly you struggle against me, my will triumphs over yours. Just because you're supposed to end the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. This isn't about desire. This is about what I am. 
And I have little interest in discussing destiny with one that cannot see the divine truth that shines in my heart. Okay, I'm yours to command. Your will was so easily broken. Am I that magnificent? Well, the game doesn't allow me to do anything else, bitch. All you need to do now is break my chains. Can I not? If this is what you want, then I guess there's not much else for me to say. No, you can't just give in to her. Not when the stakes are so high. Not when you're so close. I won't let you do this. Except for the eyes and stuff, the drawing of her is actually kind of sexy. Like, she looks like a, 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 a warrior princess, if you think about it like that. There's still something in the way. A greasy film inside of you where it doesn't belong. Trying to conceal you from me. Oh, you mean the narrator? Yeah, help me. Is that a person? No, it used to be a person. It's something different now. An echo. Look at the hands at the back, who cares? Is... is she talking about you? That's impossible. She's not supposed to be able to interact with me, she... You're a small one, aren't you? A shriveling little worm stretched beyond its limits, trying to control things that it can't understand. No, no, no. What are you talking about? I'm just... I don't care what you are. You're mine. <coughs> what the fuck is going on now? Did she pull the narrator out of me? My little bird. Do we get to see the narrator? You're brought to your feet. Break my chains. And how are we supposed to do that? We don't even have a weapon. All, All you need, need to do is believe it's been done. done. Uh, and what if I don't believe? What happens then? I have, I have to. It's over. I'm sorry. You, you poor, wretched, wretched little, little thing. thing. You, you already, already do believe. believe. You've, You've always, always believed. believed. All you, All have, you to do have to do is open, is open the last door, door to your heart. heart. It's easy. And once you let her in, you'll be safe and free forever. Please, don't do this. Explore. I have, to, I have to. It's over. I'm sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. This is how it was always going to be. And it is good. Alright, I'm done with this. I'm just gonna go sit in the corner. Let me know if we get our agency back. Her chains shatter, and the cuff falls from her wrist. She is loose, and the end is upon us. What a good disciple you are. Come, it's time for us to leave. Uh, what happens now? Nothing. And then? Everything. Okay, then she doesn't really leave me with much choice. Pledge your loyalty to, to your better, to be your obedient servant. But you not take her hand. But you do not take her hand, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory She's returns. Is that a uh, approach to Are we just gonna look at ourselves and get another achievement, hopefully? This this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. Final. I don't want to look at us. Was it a small distance as you approach, gazing to your reflection? Silence as you reach forward. They are gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You're nothing at all. What? There's a bird, but that that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and then you see it. A figure. A faint and veiled in shadow just beyond the reflection. Explore, are you me? I think you know what I am. Oh, it's a narrator? Splitting the image in the glass in two. And then another crack forms and another and another turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. So you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. So you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. 
What are you? Are you something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? I have so many questions for you. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? I'm sorry I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? Oh, there's so many. Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of you breaks. Are you a part of me or are you something else? Um, you're the one who wanted me to slay the princess. Why? I've met you many times. Have you been the same uh, you all along? I wasn't supposed to see all this, was I? What is this place? Where? Okay. I wasn't supposed to see all of this, was I? You were either going to have seen all this or you weren't going to have seen all this. This is worse, but you still have an opportunity to save the world. You can still slay her. I have so many questions for you. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? We've already crossed the point of no return. There's no saving me now. Not that there's ever been much of me to save. So everything is being fold? So you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. The narrator. Yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help, after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. What are you? Are you something like me? Oh, I'm nothing like I'm you. I'm gonna ask all the questions and fill this shit up. I am an echo, likely one of many. Somebody made you after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim, I'm sure you've met many others like me. Others, li uh, others like you? You've said something like that before, He's every narrator... has every narrator really been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Do you have anything to say for yourself for all this hubris? After everything you've done to us, do you think anyone deserves to live? I have so many questions for you. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? Every time I ask a question, is is. Uh, it's like a piece of you breaks. I'm aware. And if I were you, I'd be more precious about your time. What do you mean? Are you part of me or... Uh, nah, I'm not gonna ask that. So you do know about the looping. So many of the times I met you, you denied it as even being a possibility. Why did you lie to me? Any other version of me you talked to was just that. A version of me. It wasn't me. As to why they lied, perhaps they thought that admitting to it would have pushed you to certain realizations that would have made finishing your task impossible. Maybe they were just in denial. I'm sure many of them were convinced that they had to be the first version of them you'd encountered. Anything else would have been too existentially unpleasant. Boom. For all I know, each oh. of those other versions of me could have had entirely different understandings of how this construct works. Who's to say which of them are right and which of them are wrong, really? Except for me. I can tell you for a fact that I'm right. You just sound like the rest of them. Do you have anything to say for yourself for all the this hubris? I do. The people out there are real. No matter what you do to them, no matter what you enable, I want you to remember that. Soon I'll be gone entirely, and you'll be left alone with your final choice. So allow me to make my final request. The princess contains death itself within her. But I wove you into being with all the power you need to destroy her forever. Do it. Slay her. And rid the world of death and suffering. After everything you've done to us, do you think anyone deserves to live? Nobody alive has done anything to you. I'm all gone. But if you and the princess want to smite the rest of them for the crimes of a dead man, if you really want to be that petty, there isn't much I can do to stop you. Run out of questions. Death of the author. 
say nothing and watch him end. I still have to see what she thinks uh, about all of this. Rest easy, I'm going to destroy her. I'm gonna freaking lie, Rest easy. Are you lying? I can't tell. But I've said my piece, and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. Boom. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with a new found clarity. You are the long you are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god. All of this is you. And it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin. Bring the tower to her. A dominant vessel. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to hear, uh, bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. Did I complete the game? I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. It's been so long. And my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. What? I've missed you too. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? I am the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. What happens now? She unfurls an endless uh, cascade of smiles in response and then patiently waits for you to continue. Did you know about the echo? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. That's beautifully said, pay him no mind. I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. What happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? She actually summed me up quite freaking well. I'm more of a reacting person than an acting person, I don't know. When the okay. echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? Does, is she giving me the choice between saving the world and actually now killing her? There's so many stories we've left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Don't you have a say in all of this? Why is this all falling on me? Let's talk, let's talk this through. I still have so many questions and I need answers before I can make a choice. If I let you out, an entire world ends for good. I can't do that. If you were always going to become this, then what was the point of me doing anything? Did it even matter what roads I, I walked if all of them would have led to this moment? There has to be another way. This can't just come down to me either destroying you or letting you out. I won't do it. No, this is the actual Slay the Princess. I told you what was going to happen when we reached this point, Slay the Princess. I think it's time for us to leave this place, but I don't know how to leave or where, where to go. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or will you open the final doors to our liberation? Slay the princess. Let's do... I think... I kind of want to save her, but let's do with the princess. Let's, let's slay her. Will it backfire? Violence has always been our language, hasn't it? If this is what it takes to save you, then so be it. You are nothing. A black hole of self-loathing fed by the matter of your restless thoughts. 
A dog blind to its leash. Catch me. But there is no light without the dark. When I proclaimed my godhood and offered you a place at my side, you gladly became the instrument of my new creation. Only with both of us is there a future to look towards. It is hope that carves meaning into being. Address this vessel statement directly. Appeal to... Let's expand. Appeal to your shared humanity. You speak about life and death and change and stagnation, but there, but that isn't what any of this has been about. Reject her authority. You've done nothing but lecture me since the minute I got here. Argue your independence. You act as though the world can't exist without you, but I've existed without you. Reject her perspective. I won't engage with violence. You act as though the world can't exist without you, but I've existed without you. Have you? Was what you think of as independence merely an illusion? Without me, you can have no contrast. And without contrast, you have no shape. A trick behind your back and a trick behind mine. We dance, revolving and revolving around each other, but forever stuck in place. We both move and yet we both don't. For each of us watches the other instead of ourselves. But forever is not forever. I move and you react and both of us break the other. But broken is only a moment in time. To change is to hold the potential to rise above. Would you limit yourself to what you are now? Or would you like to see what you might become tomorrow? Appeal to your shared humanity. You speak about life and death and change and stagnation, but there, that isn't what any of this has been about. Oh, is it not? Perhaps you can enlighten me. To question everything is to deny the truth in front of you. To live alone within the caverns of your mind is to trap yourself in them forever. But you found me, and we chose to trust each other for no reason than the sake of believing in something that wasn't us. She's holding her head up. That was one of the uh, the parts that I that I played. Through. Shared skepticism blossomed into freedom, but we needed to walk a path together to bloom. Would you stop our journey now that you've seen its beginning? What of those in the worlds beyond? Would you erase their paths to stop them from going astray? Continue to build your shared humanity. Reject her. I won't engage with an argument that favors death and suffering. I get it, there's no need for us to keep fighting. I'll leave I'll leave with you. I just don't know how. Stop the fight early and surrender. Nope! Continue to appeal to your shared humanity. This has always just been about us. Two people forced to hurt each other and again and again and again, but we don't have to hurt each other anymore. You bring to your emotion pain and suffering. There is beauty and ugliness and love. You're the third just sink into your body, and another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? But the stakes meant nothing to you. You had a desire, and you set that desire free. You lifting me, and me lifting you. Forever and ever and ever. Consumed by true belief, there was nothing that could hold us back. Um... Stop the... F Fight early and surrender. What if we remain silent? But you say nothing. The shiver passes through you as unseen fingers dance across your skin. They remember the violence you inflicted on them, and yet they don't return it. I offer you absolution, and you take my hand in yours. That bitch again. But you do not follow my path. Hands clasp together. You break yourself. And you break me with you. You were willing to sacrifice everything you thought was you to end me again. Okay. Let's see what, what happens if I actually do this. Stop the fight early. Nothing we carve meaning. We carve meaning. 
The final peace lies with you. Free yourself. You fall into yourself. Does that now mean like the game is done? The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation and you feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here except except for her is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale but twisted and crum crumpled and bound in agonized tension to a finite plane. Okay, I know I was deep, but this is way deeper. You can feel the gas of the construct pressing in, one, uh, in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it, but it does not yield. I love you. Come on, we have to take your hand, I guess. Beauty and the Beast. All at once, the unyielding tension breaks. You are free, and she is with you. It's magnificent. That's trippy. There are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality, something that simply is. What happens now? Everything. Just like it always has been. And just like it always will be. You and she step forward into a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets, each of which contains a thousand more. You exist and you are aware, just as you always have been and just as you always will be. Though conflict is in your nature, the two of you will never be alone and the two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. Only new beginnings? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So guys, remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know down below in the comments if you really enjoy this game because I I did and let me know what other games you would love to see me play. I am thinking of playing a game called Papers, Please. Um, I'm still looking for more things. I'm also thinking of playing Stardew Valley. So let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go.